Hello and welcome. I'm Jenny Hall. Thanks for joining me for another card making tutorial. Today I'm sharing a card I created with a stamp set called Bird Banter. This card was actually created for my on-stage display in Salt Lake City. I'm going to be using the watercolor technique that's known as no-line watercoloring. The way I've been successful with this technique is to first start with a piece of watercolor paper. I'm then going to stamp my images with an ink color that's going to blend in with the rest of the coloring that will fill up the images. It's a very basic concept and you can stick to using one color all the time such as a neutral pink or neutral yellow. I'm using lemon lime twist today because my birds are going to be colored green. I've added some ink from my stamp pads onto a clear acrylic block and I am just giving them a little bit more water by dripping a little tap water from my aqua painter onto that block. This is one way that I don't have to keep opening my stamp pads and using the lid as a palette. You don't have to do it in this manner, but it's one more way that you have to use your supplies. Here's a tip when you're watercoloring, especially with an aqua painter. Be sure when changing colors to dab the brush onto a paper towel or some kind of a rag. This will stop the dark colors going into the light colored areas and it'll help keep the integrity of your colors together. I've colored the birds and now want to add just a little bit of rosiness to their bellies. I'm not sure that this is the way parakeets look. I thought maybe a little bit more about lovebirds when I picked the color palette for this project. I will tell you that this was a really fun project to color. There's nothing better for me than grabbing a paintbrush and just painting away in a very easy, non-technical kind of way. Even the brush here that I've used, which is a aqua painter from Stampin' Up, is perfectly fine to watercolor images on any project. The wet on wet technique is going to help me get a light watercolor finish to the area of my stamped images. By first adding in some clear water from the brush, then picking up some of the ink, I'm able to work in the areas in between the stamped images. By the wet on wet technique, it helps me to spread that color and not have it be soaked into the paper at the application site. That's one thing that I've found that helps me with getting a lighter and more even look to my watercoloring is to make sure that I'm applying it to a wet surface. It doesn't mean you have to do it that way but it's one way that might help you be a little more successful in your projects. I'm using Tempting Turquoise as a blue background. It's a nice color that can be watered down and once it's mixed together with all the bright colors on the birds, it kind of tones the project down just a little bit. Using watercolor paper allows me to add layers of color that I would not normally be able to do if I were coloring on other cardstock. Using my Stampin' Trimmer, I'm going to cut down the watercolor panel at an angle. This is going to be something just a little bit different. In my card making, sometimes I need to mix things up a little bit just so that it makes it more interesting for me. Swirly Snowflake Thinlets Die Set has the long bar set of dots and I'm using that along my bottom cut image 
or along my bottom cut edge to cut away just a little bit of an area that will allow for this beautiful glitter paper to show through. In the Occasions catalog is a new package of 6x6 glimmer paper. It comes in a white, a blue, and a green. And I've thought that it would pair really nicely with this project today. I really like the look of the glimmer paper showing through those little holes. It's just a little something different. In the stamp set of Bird Banter, there's a lot of different images. And one of the images is this cute little heart. I think it can be featured in lots of different ways, but for my project today, I'm just going to fill it in with color. And once it dries, I'm going to apply the fine tip glue pen to make it shiny and maybe be like a little bit poofy. When I was a kid, poofy hearts were all the rage. Glittery stickers with holographic images, all kinds of things like that. I was crazy about them. And sometimes I like to bring that little bit of fondness into my projects as an adult. Because watercolor paper is a really thick, heavy cardstock, and glimmer paper kind of resists any kind of adhesive. I'm using tear and tape to stick it down together. I have had some success with tear and tape, but I would suggest that if you need any extra adhesive, why don't you try some mini glue dots and see if they will help. I'm adding some linen thread around the outside of the card front and moving it around in a couple of different ways to get a bit of a natural look. Normally I would put this around a sentiment, but I want to draw the eye from the top area down to the bottom where the sentiment will be stamped. This is my one way to guarantee that my bow will come out, is to first apply the thread or the twine adhere it down very well, and then separately tie a bow that can be attached with a glue dot. And here is the little puffy, shiny heart right in between those two little sweet lovebirds. Just perfect. The sentiments from Bird Banter stamp set are really a lot of fun. There's a lot of different ways to use them as well. I've turned this into a very simple card that would be perfect for anybody that I have a fondness to. My one piece of advice when adding the fine tip glue pen to make that shiny puffiness is allow it overnight to dry. A journaling pen is perfect to enhance the feet and the eyes so that they show up nicely on the card front. Thank you so much for joining me for this tutorial. I had a lot of fun coloring the images here and hope to inspire you to create some watercolor cards as well. I invite you over to my blog at jennystampsup.com for more card making inspiration and while there click on shop now to access my online store. Thanks again for choosing me as your online demonstrator and thanks for joining me for this project. I'll see you next time. Hi, my name is Trip. Thanks for watching the video. See you next time.